Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Okay, the next one. Bandit 2. So here, they have given the password for the next level is stored in a file with called spaces in this file they have bolded it if you can see properly so this is the file name itself so located in the home directory let's try to log in so this is the password let's create a next node number two and uh, some user bandit two and uh, password is this one and uh, SSH will be this one. So with this information, let's try to connect it. And password, it's asking for password. Yep, <laughs> we got it. Let's clear the terminal and uh, so there is a they said there is a password password for the next file is stored in a file which has spaces in it so let's see ls so by first glance it seems like these are different files right so these seems to be like a different file but if you type it like this by long listing you will understand that it is a single file which has spaces in it that's it that's all okay how do you open these kind of files so when you try to cat this cat copy paste it's going to throw some errors right so it is thinking that spaces is a file in is a file this is a file file name so let's try to understand how the cat command works uh, let's clear let's mk dir 3 and then cd3 now we are in oh it's in 2 right yeah sorry cd dot dot mk dir 2 and then cd2 I just went previous directory created a directory name to and went into that directory okay with using this as uh, colons semicolons it is going to divide each one into a individual command and it executed so this is nothing fancy so so let's try to create different text files using different methods so let's try with nano okay yeah, just enter some text cut it enter okay done so let's try pluma pluma is a, a gui text editor it looks something like this and i'm going to enter some text and control s and then close it okay let's try cat command this time cat and then uh, usually when you type some uh, some text like this it's going to think that this is a file and it is trying to uh, output the contents of the file so when we want to input some content we uh, put a greater than symbol that points to this file okay so it is going to think that we have to enter some text here so if you hit enter it is going to wait there for us to enter some text so let's type some text and then hit enter and when you press ctrl d it is going to deselect from this and it's going to disconnect also okay so all this contents will be sent into this file so that's how you create a contents using cat command and uh, there is one more command which called touch so let's use touch and then uh, some text so it is going to create 
a file with the name dd and which has some empty contents in it so it has nothing in it so we have created four files let's see them all okay let's create one more file uh, we'll use cat command for this as well and this time we will use some new file okay let's add some random contents and uh, hit enter control d okay it's done so now we have five files with one with spaces in it okay so let's try to print first three a a b b and c c okay we are trying to print first three okay and if you see the last one it doesn't have any contents in it it's zero okay uh, let's hit enter and it is showing some contents in it right so it is going to first file and trying to print that second file and printing that third file printing that but if you do the same thing with cat new file it is not going to do that it's going to think that this new is just like aa and it's going to print the contents of this file and this file something like that but those files doesn't exist so what do we do here they have mentioned something like a single quotes here so let's try that out cat and then single quotes new file so it's going to work okay and uh, since it doesn't have any file or directory as shown here this is add as good as typing something that doesn't exist something like this see it's going to print like each file don't exist at all so we have seen the differences now let's get back to our main ctf which is this one clear this out ls spaces in this file so we have seen that if you try to use single quotes it's working right so let's use that single quotes okay it's working let's try to use double quotes this time this is also working so there are two other ways to do this so cat uh, when you use spaces and if you try to uh, use backslash after every every name like uh, after spaces you print a backslash if after in you can uh, type one more backslash and this backslash oh sorry backslash and file name so what this backslash does is this acts as an escape character so what does it escape so it escapes uh, that this is not a different argument this is the same file this is a space so it's uh, it sends a message that uh, the next character is not another argument it is a continuation so it's going to think that whatever comes next is it will be the continuation so that's what escape character do and uh, once you press enter it's going to work oh i have made a mistake here it is a spaces in this file okay now it's going to work okay and uh, one more way is if you type cat and if you if you press tab button which is above the caps lock yes and then caps lock uh, i mean tab button it is going to print this escape characters automatically for you okay and then if you hit enter it's going to work so you can use a tab button you can use backslash characters individually or, or you can use single quotes you can use double quotes okay that's it for this flag let's try to copy this let's continue in the next one see ya